Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Lothar Mateus card to review today. Uh, we're taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 9, high high work rates, right footed, 3 star skills with a 4 star uh, weak foot. Player traits in game, he has the outside foot shot traits, the power free kick trait. Okay, okay. Um, by default, this would be a card that I would mostly use in the CDM position because of the four-star skill move capability, especially with the way that center mids kind of exist nowadays. And, uh, you know, the Awars, even the Renato Sanchez with his skill moves and weak foot, even just that foot birthday card. Um, so with a card like Mateus, I personally see him mostly being used in the CDM position, but we're going to be trying him out in the center mid area uh, to see what he's like attacking and defending wise because of the high, high work rates. Because to be fair, he could surprise me, right? Uh, it attributes in game. 95 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. You know what? This card on a basic chemistry style is not bad. Yeah, basic chemistry style is actually really nice on him because he has 95 acceleration, 92 sprint speed in the midfield position. Shooting stats, he has 99 shot power over the 82 finishing, which is definitely very nice. Even has the long shots too with 95 composure and 90 attacking positioning. Okay, so it's the agility and balance. He's going to be a five foot nine player with the agility and balance at 84, 83. 84, 83 for that. And what body type? Body type is at average. Yeah, you know what? Like a card like this, like I said, CDM definitely looks like the best position because look, the basic even boosts the physical a little bit, the defending a little bit, passing and shooting. Imagine they gave like a plus five for the finishing. That'd be sick. But uh, yeah, average body type while being 5'9 kind of makes him a little bit more stockish, especially since he has 95 base interceptions with 97 base aggression. So definitely very nice there. Base card stats for passing is perfectly fine, especially since he has the weak foot as well. Uh, dribbling, we will be experimenting with in game to see whether or not I actually would enjoy using him in the center mid area. Uh, defensive stats, again, set up really nicely on the basic, so I wouldn't necessarily improve that because the dribbling boost is i feel like it's nice to have for this card in particular uh 85 for strength on the basic 94 for stamina to work with the high high work rates a lot of cool stuff to be honest like this card uh definitely looks very interesting uh we are going to be using him in the 412 and 2 that we are currently using we're going to put the fast build up instruction for these cards and we are going to be using him who do i have in this team right now Oh, I have like four midfielders. Well, Yasuo can play pretty much anywhere, so we'll just play him in the cam position. Why not? Uh, and then we'll have Mateus in the right center mid position, only on the instruction of cover wing. So that's the base. Yeah, base stuff, balance, fast build up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try him out. Let's see how he plays in game. Oh. That would have been nice if I actually got that little little bit of acceleration there. I'm going to switch to the uh, balance tactic for the 4-1-2-2 uh, and two and two for Mateus. Yeah, so you can definitely tell the uh, base dribbling stats in the card for sure. With the agility and balance set up the way that it is. Which is why I said that he's probably going to be mostly a CDM in most people's teams, I would say. Let's go, Mateus. Good build-up play. With the shot power that he has, I expect him to score those high percentage uh, chances for sure. Oh, man. Yeah, I shouldn't have done a body thing right there, especially since... Uh, Center backs just have that crazy reach. Yeah, guys, so as a center mid, I mean, I'm using him right now. It's not a card that I would personally use the, uh, use there at this very moment in the game. Uh, so we're actually going to switch him to the CDM position this time because I definitely feel like that's the position that makes the most sense for how I think he'll perform in game. Uh, we're going to switch uh, Yasuo over here and we'll put in... We could put in, let's see... Coleman, Holland, we'll put Forsberg on the pitch. Yeah. I want to see what he's like more defensively, if anything, you know? Still pushing for that goal that was Forge ahead. And the referee allowing advantage to 
Oh, Forsberg, man. That aggressive attacking AI, man. I love it, dude. I really, really love it. Mateus with a strong pass, too, there, right? There you go. Nice defensive play. That's what we're looking for here. Take that. Yes, my boy. There we go. Nice job, Mateus. I like that he actually gets it like attached to the ball right there. It's important. Like a magnet, you know? Some players for loose balls, man. I don't know why they don't go collect the ball. It's so annoying. I love this Royce card so much. With with every fiber of my being, I love this card. I love him. I love him, dude. Oh, that was him by that was him by himself too. He actually did that tackle. That wasn't me that actually did it. So I don't mind that at all. I like when the players themselves do it. It's just better defensively. Because if you tackle, you could probably just kick the ball away. You know the vibes in this game. Does Mateus have good free kicks? He does. That's nice. Yeah, I was waiting for that. What? I put too much power. No way. Okay, guys. So the next formation that we're going to be trying out is going to be the 3-5-2 formation. So we're going to use it like this. Uh, Royce, Danny Elmo, Lazar we'll put over here, Bellingham. Uh, yeah, we'll put Yasuo off to the left side here. We'll just use some basic stuff here, basic, basic. Uh, the reason why I'm trying this out is because Lothar is definitely the type of player that I feel like uh, would play best in a 2 CDM formation because of base characteristics for certain areas of his card. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just try it out just like that so yeah let's get into a game and see how he plays like this oh already with a defensive play there you see what i mean to so two cdm formation we push out uh one of the defensive positions and uh you can clearly see that he actually occupies that area once we push that one defensive player out I'm kind of disappointed that that pass doesn't work right there in that situation. It's a great run by one of the players, but Mateus with the interception. There we go, Forsberg. Good attacking AI. Lovely stuff, my boy. Yeah, guys, honestly, I'm noticing like an immediate difference with, uh, with Mateus playing in a 2 CDM formation, especially for this 3 5 2. He's great in it so far. Nice, we'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, I thought he was going to get that. Gets a tackle there anyways. So the one thing that I do notice with uh, the Mateus card is definitely his agility and balance uh, with the average body type. Like, he definitely has a certain sway to his card. First time strike. Um, yeah, he definitely has a first time, like, not first time, he has a sway to his card for sure when it comes to defending. So you don't really want to overcommit areas, but when you don't overcommit areas, defensively he's actually very, very solid once you kind of hold the right areas of the pitch. You can tell that when we take corners, he's the one that actually stays in the back here. See what I mean? When I lose possession of the ball, you see how fast he tracks back in that area? I'll just take that. Again with the interception there too. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that ball again. He's gonna make that pass. Let's just switch off him.
Nice. Taco from behind, too. It's actually a nice pass by uh, Mateus there. Yeah, what you have to do with him is you have to time your uh, your LTRT as much as possible. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new SBC Icon Moments Mateus card. So with us, guys, we gave him the basic chemistry style for the pace boost, dribbling boost, just boosts in every um, you know area of the card, which is definitely very, very cool to work with for sure. This is a card, in my opinion that you unlock if you're playing him in a two CDM formation. In the two CDM formation, guys, Mateus plays really, really well. What you actually rely on the most when it comes to Mateus is not necessarily his manual defending, although very good because he makes some very good challenges. Uh, it's more his defensive AI. His defensive AI to track after players in a two CDM formation is really, really good considering he's a high, high work rated player. He's definitely more defensive oriented because of the the average body type with the way that his dribbling stats are set up, right? If you obviously take a look at the uh, Renato Sanchez card, right? His dribbling stats are set up a certain way with his pace and his defending where the dribbling you do notice with the average body type, but because he has four-star skills, five-star weak foot, it's beautiful to use him in a situation like that. With Mateus, because he's a three-star skiller, it's a card that, like I said, you want to mostly use in the CDM area, but doesn't really matter because he plays the best there anyways, right? So if you guys are looking to unlock someone that's going to play in the CDM area really well, as long as it's in a two CDM um, formation, because I'm not really like crazy about him as a lone CDM, because personal preference wise, I don't necessarily fully like having uh, a high high work rated player as they loan uh, as the loan cdm in a team like it's not it's just not for me personally um, a lot of people this year have definitely gone with the high highs and they do well in that area but for me personally i'm not crazy about it although he could still play it well um but in a two cdm formation he definitely makes the most sense the things that i did notice with the card though was mostly his agility and balance with his five foot nine height and his average body type he has this kind of like sway to him but it's interesting because he has this sway but it's like a defensive sway because if you can kind of time it correctly and control it properly he actually makes really good challenges when he needs to so uh i think the basic chemistry style definitely makes the most sense some people are giving him uh the engine as well i think the engine would be pointless like the dribbling boost i, I wouldn't care about unless i'm using him in the center mid position uh like i said it's a card i would mostly use at cdm so in the CDM position, basic chemistry style definitely makes the most sense to use him there. Um, definitely noticed it the most once I switched to like a 4-2-3-1, 3-5-2 formation. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Actually, wait. How much does he cost as an SPC? Lothar Mateus, 695k? Wow, the SPCs today were like very good prices. Lothar, Mateus, center mid. Wow, look at that, eh? You know what? As an SBC, that's that's pretty good. I think fodder went down recently, so that's probably why he's like that price right now, but not too bad. Not too bad. As an SBC though, guys, yeah, definitely worth it. That's that's a good price. I thought they would make it more expensive to be honest. No, that's that's a very, very solid price for what he offers in game. Considering the links and stuff too, because this Mateus card came out at a good time because of Yasua. You know, like if you were playing both of them at CDM or something, if you if you wanted to rock with that, it wouldn't be a bad combination to go with. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.